Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the concept of extra reducers in Redux Toolkit. To understand about extra reducers, we first have to revisit the Redux demo project. In our index.js file, you can see that we have split the app reducer into a cake reducer and an ice cream reducer. Both the reducers are fed into combined reducers, which is then provided to the store. Now there is one very important point with this setup that you have to recollect. Even though we have separate reducers, when we dispatch an action, both the reducers receive that action. One of them acts on that action, whereas the other just ignores it. Let me help you understand with an example. Let's say our shop sales are through the roof and we want to reward our customers for their support. For every cake they buy, we want to give an ice cream for free. Here is how we can achieve that. In the ice cream reducer, I'm going to add a new case. But this time the action type is cake underscore ordered. Nothing to do with ice creams. While returning though, we spread the state and then decrement the number of ice creams by one. So when a cake is ordered, the cake reducer decrements the cake count by one. However, the ice cream reducer also responds to the same action and reduces the number of ice creams as well by one. Let's see if this works. I'm going to remove the logger middleware as it adds too much noise. In the subscription, let's add a log statement where we log the updated state. Store.getState. If we now navigate inside Redux demo project, and run node index, you can see that whenever a cake is ordered, the cake count and the ice cream count both reduce by one. So what I want you to take away is the following point. Each reducer can update only its portion of the application state. However, it can respond to any action dispatched in the application. So ice cream reducer can only update the number of ice creams, but it can still respond to the cake ordered action type. And the reason I want you to understand is because with Redux Toolkit, that does not happen. By default, reducers from one create slice will only respond to the action types generated by the same slice. If you want a slice to respond to other action types besides the types it has generated, you'll need to make use of extra reducers. Extra reducers, as the name indicates, are additional reducers apart from the reducer generated by create slice. The syntax is as follows. Let's repeat the same scenario where we decrement the number of ice creams when a cake is ordered. After all, buy a cake and get an ice cream free is our offer. In ice cream slice.js and the create slice argument, after reducers key, we add another key called extra reducers. Now there are two ways to specify extra reducers and I will show both of them. The first way is to specify a mapping object where the key corresponds to an action type from a different slice. So this is an object. And we learned in the previous video, the cake slice generated a cake slash ordered action. So our key will be the exact same string. For the function within square brackets, cake slash ordered. For the function, we specify a reducer function. 
state comma action are arguments and we mutate the state since immer is used under the hood state dot number of ice creams minus minus i will also remove the action argument as we simply decrement the number of ice creams by one and don't need a payload in store.js i'll comment out the logger middleware In index.js, in the store subscription, I'm going to add the same log statement. Updated state, store.get state with parentheses. Back in the terminal, if we navigate now to the Redux Toolkit demo project, so cd rtk demo, and run node index. You can see that whenever a cake is ordered, both the cake and ice cream count decrement by one. When you order an ice cream, only the ice cream count decrements by one. Now, although this approach of adding an extra red user works, the recommended approach is to specify the same using a build function. Here is the syntax. Let me comment this. And now, extra red users is a function. The function receives an argument which we can name as builder. Within the function body, we can use this builder to add a new case. So builder dot add case. And here, the first argument is the action type. Now that would be cake actions dot ordered. Make sure to import cake actions from cake slice. The second argument is a function, which is a typical reducer type of a function. It receives state and action and mutates the state. In our case, we don't need the action. So receives state and we decrement the number of ice creams by one. Save the file, rerun node index and we see the same output as before. Whenever a cake is ordered, not only the number of cakes is decremented by one, but also the number of ice creams. So that is about extra reducers. It allows create slice to respond to other action types besides the types it has generated. All right, for the final video, before we dive into React with Redux Toolkit, let's see how to handle async actions with Redux Toolkit. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.